So for this last part then, we're asked to comment on how useful this test is. Well, I've got here a summary of the results of the probabilities we worked out earlier in the question. And by looking at these results, we should be able to see that this test is not useful at all. But why? Well, for instance, if we take this result, the probability of getting a positive result. Well, if I had a disease and I went for a test, I want to know that the test for positive was going to be very high, that I could trust that result. Okay, so we've got here a very small probability. I would hope that it would be large. And when it comes to this, the probability that I don't have the disease, given that the test was positive, well, I would expect a very small value, small probability. But look what we've got, 0 0.6 odd, okay? So that's a large probability. So this test is clearly not useful. So I would write something along these kind of lines. It's not useful since the probability of being positive is very small when we would expect a high probability and the probability of not having the disease given that the test was positive is high when we would expect a small probability. Okay, so I hope that gives you some idea of how to go about that part then. Okay.